Hey, what's up guys, it's Matt. And if you're anything like me, you probably hear the term networking and you think of these weird gatherings where you eat strange appetizers and kind of throw your business cards at each other. And while it may be true that that's a lot of our experience with networking, I don't actually think that's a good model. I think there's a much better, more intentional way to build your professional network and attract the right opportunities to you. And I call it my three circle network. So I'm gonna kind of walk through what that is and kind of how I landed at that. So basically the way that I think about networking is it's something that you should be, do, be doing that's ongoing and it starts with personal growth and expands out from there as you're able to add value to other people around you. So it starts with uh, basically you. So you're in the center here, right there. And what you, every person needs to make sure that they have a mentor, someone that is pouring into them. And this isn't saying necessarily that you need to go up to someone whose time is super valuable and they're really busy and say, hey, will you mentor me? But if you can start, you know, it'd be like if, if you went up to someone you'd never met before and said, hey, my name's Matt, I wanna go on a date, you know, uh, if I'd never met them before. <coughs> It's kind of a big ask for someone you don't even know. But if you can start to uh, realize what they're really wanting, uh, maybe they're starting a side project, they're working with a charity or something, you have marketing experience, you can help them with their marketing for their charity. Align your interests, find common things, find ways that you can add value, and find ways where they can give you real feedback, easy ask on stuff you're working on. Hey, I'm working on uh, this project right now. I know you have expertise in this area. Can you give me a quick two sentence response or something that gets sparked some feedback here? So build that relationship, someone pouring into you. Find best in class peers, uh, sort of, again, we're still in the inner circle, but best in class peers, people that inspire you to do your best work that you can collaborate on, that you can uh, bounce really good ideas off of. That's super critical as well. These can people be people inside your company, uh, and ideally people who are, who are kind of doing the similar role that you're in, but at other places who have different perspectives um, and can really contribute to your growth and encourage you to go faster. Uh, then I just really strongly believe that you need to have someone that you're pouring into, an apprentice, a mentee, someone who was in your shoes a year ago who would kill for the job that you're doing now. If you can teach them what you already know, that's a huge win. Um, and people will see that. And I think you're more like, I don't have proof for this, but I think you're more likely to find a great mentor if you're willing to be a mentor to others. At least that's my experience. Um, once you have that down, that's great. You're growing, you're on a fast track to growth. You're always learning new things. Um, you need to start building your professional network. So these are people at your company. Are you really going deep with everyone you know there? People at similar companies, people in your industry. Um, are you starting to go to local meetups and events, to different things like that? Are you, are you communic uh, participating on online forums and places where people in your industry hang out? Um, and if you're doing that, making those key connections, again, always starting from that core of growth and with your inner circle, with the person who's pouring into you, people that are egging you on to do your best, and then people that you're pouring into, then you can have something to offer what I like to call the crowd. And so this is uh, sort of, think of it as like your audience. It's kind of a, a dirty word if you're not a marketer, but all this means is like, if you are learning things, you're on a fast track to growth, you're growing with your company, you're making connections in your industry, you're gonna be learning a lot of new things every uh, month, every week, every day, and all you need to do to help other people who are in your shoes a few weeks ago, months ago, years ago, is to just share out in the open what you're already taking in and learning these insights that you have. And so uh, Jason Fried from Basecamp, which is a very successful software company, uh, calls this sharing your byproducts. And I so believe in sharing your byproducts. So I started open sourcing my book notes and I put them on my website. I like to share blog posts and articles about what I'm learning at my job or books that I've read or different things that I realized that I wish I would have known earlier. Um, and it's a great opportunity to just share what's in your head get it out of your head. And when you do that, a funny thing happens. You will start magnetically attracting opportunities to you in a very efficient way that is much better than if you tried to go hunt them down and pull them to you otherwise. A quick example just to wrap this up is, uh, I went to a Techlahoma uh, conference called Thunderplane where we brought together all these web developers from all over Oklahoma. It was a great event and I was just really struck by how impactful community is. And I wanted other people to know how it helped me get my dream job in software. So I spent maybe 30, 40 minutes banging out a quick blog post on Medium. I shared it. Someone asked me to make a video version uh, to share uh, at a local meetup. 
And so I did that. I made the video version uh, and shared it at our local Free Code Camp chapter. And then it got picked up by the, uh, the national, the larger Free Code Camp YouTube channel that has millions of subscribers. And that video has been featured there and has almost 20,000 views, which is crazy. I wasn't trying to do that. I've never had a video consumed that many times, but I have people in like all these different countries, you know, that are saying, wow, that's so encouraging. Tell me about how you, this idea here, like the three circle network or how you're able to learn and grow and, and get your foot in the door at a great software company. You're doing what you love. Like I was ready to give up, but hearing your story encouraged me to keep going. And so it's really important. Just share your byproducts. Again, Quick recap, three circle network. Uh, start with that core of growth, people pouring into you, people who are gonna uh, help you be your best and people you can pour into. Start building out key relationships with people that share your interests, that share your job, that share where you wanna go in life. And then uh, communicate those byproducts to the crowd and build an audience and just put that in a video, put that in a blog post, put that in a podcast and share it out. Cool, hopefully that's helpful. Let me know what you think or if you have follow-up questions and I'll do my best to share. Cool, thanks crew.